Gospel comes from Greek euangelion, which means literally good news. And God reconciling all people and all creation to himself is the ultimate good news, uh, the ultimate gospel. Um, and I believe that is this gospel that the early Christian movement was built upon 2000 years ago and that was outlined and articulated uh, most systematically by the Apostle Paul in his epistles. Um, I actually pinched the phrase, uh, the purest gospel from Martin Luther who used it in his preface to Romans in his German language Bible. Um, it was actually Paul's epistle to the Romans that Luther called the purest gospel. Um, and I found that very fitting because Romans, uh, for me, was the key book in the Bible on my road towards universalism. And that's why the, the first chapter in my book uh, is dedicated to Romans and it, it calls, it's titled Romans, um, Paul's Treatise on Universal Restoration. Uh, in the Romans, Paul begins by painting a picture of universal fallenness and uh, watch the use of the word all here. Uh, Paul tells us how all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, how all creation groans as it awaits redemption. He tells us that just as one man, Adam's sin, led to condemnation for all men, so one man, Christ's righteousness, leads to life for all men, that's Romans 5.18, and Paul can therefore conclude that, uh, that God has mercy upon all. That's Romans 11.32. So uh, this message that all are saved is the ultimate good news. It's, and it's the gospel that pours over from the pages of the New Testament scriptures.